Turning to news now here at home, the conservative leader is demanding the prime minister slap tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, steel and aluminum. Rachel Aiello is following the trade file for us. And Rachel, why is Pierre Polyev making this call now? Heather, Polyev's push for trade action comes as industry leaders are calling on the government to help prevent China from flooding the market with cheap products. Backed by steel workers, whose jobs he fears liberal inaction is putting on the line, the conservative leader called out China. They're doing this with the goal of crushing our steel, our aluminum. The conservative leader wants the federal government to align with the Americans and introduce tariffs of 100% on made-in-China EVs, 50% on semiconductors and solar cells, and 25% on steel, aluminum, and other critical minerals. He also wants to block Chinese EVs from being eligible for tax rebates. Polyev's proposed tariff package echoes a call made yesterday by leaders in Canada's steel and aluminum industries. Frankly, in our view, doing nothing is not an option. There are concerns Canada could become a dumping ground for those imports now that the U.S. and Mexico have already taken trade action against China. The period of the coming weeks is crucial for Canada to take a stand on this. The federal government launched a 30-day consultation period in July to evaluate tariffs on Chinese EVs, but have yet to reveal their plan. In a statement to CTV News, Finance Minister Christian Freeland's office said the government agrees action is necessary and that all options are on the table to ensure Canadian workers and EV supply chains are protected from unfair competition. Experts warn Canada has no choice but to quickly move in lockstep with its allies or be prepared to be on the wrong side of a trade war. If we don't have tariffs, then things can come into our country and then they could potentially go into the United States and circumvent their own tariff regime. Heather, China has threatened retaliation, something experts say the Canadian government is likely considering as it plots its next move. Rachel Aiello for us in Ottawa. Thank you.